This is Skeeter here from the Northern Nuts News, and I'm here interviewing Charlie from Kanag Kasagami. Kasha. Why don't you let him say it. Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. Man, try saying that ten times fast. Now that's it. One time slow. I can't even say anything slow. No. Nope. Okay. So we're talking about these guys are supposed to be the number one pike destination in Northern Ontario. I'm from Northern Ontario, and mm -hmm. I've always done great fishing. But I like to hear what this guy's got to say. Well, we're real lucky, you know. We've been catching release for 13 years, and so, uh, you know, when you put the big ones back, you got more big ones to catch. So, would you recommend I use like an ultralight with a six pound test to make it more challenging? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> big, big fish require big line strength, and that way you can fight them fast, give them a big kiss before they go back in the water. Cool. Can I use like half inch nylon rope with a shark hook? Absolutely. I think that would be much more appropriate for these big fish. So what's the average pike size in your lake? Probably about uh, 10, 12 pounds is the average size. And they get up to 45 pounds. Last year, 55 45 inch. 45 pounds? Yeah, Whoa! Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. That's why you need that nylon rope. That's like, that's like 100 perch. Exactly. That's like a month worth of food. Exactly. That is a month's worth of food. I don't know if I eat a pike that big, though, because you'd be pretty difficult to fillet my little buck knife. Yeah, that would be. Exactly. That's why you want him to, to go back and make some more bigger pike. Now, I want your advice, because we went up to Lake Abitibi, uh -huh. and uh, we kind of got frozen on that lake. What kind of gear do you recommend for those kinds of lakes? Well, like Abitibi, it's uh, dirty water, so you need lots of bright colored lures for places like that. That's why we weren't catching them. We were just using a hook with nothing on it. No, I think we have black lures. Yeah, we need to get bright lures. Yeah, you need bright lures. Chartreuse, bright yellows. Now, what works best in your lake? Uh, same colors. It's tea stained, so uh, we're looking for bright colored lures, yellow twister tails, chartreuse for, for the walleye, and uh, things like uh, buzz baits and things that make a lot of commotion for the big pike. Wow, that sounds, that sounds like a lot of fun. Now, do we have to fly in or could we like drive to your location? The only way to get in is to fly in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Now, I have a Zodiac that flies. Can I get in there? Oh, absolutely. Not a problem. Now, how far is it from the main road? Because I can only go like two miles. Okay, well, you'd, uh, you'd, have, to, you'd have a little bit of trouble then because the nearest road's probably 35 miles away. Well, I think what I'll do is I'll book it with you guys, and you can fly me in. You can fly me in, can you? Absolutely, hey, I'm yes. coming too, man. Don't forget about Phil there, Peter. Now, we're not good at fishing. Can we catch something there? Oh, absolutely. We get people who don't even know anything about fishing catching lots of fish. Oh, that's great. Well, thank you very much, man. It was nice no meeting you there, Charlie. And he's with Kasagami, Kasaga, Kas Wilderness Kasagami Wilderness Lodge. Great outfit, man. Check it out.